Hello everyone, it's Dragon Platinum here, and today we are back again with some more Playing Crazy for this very, very lovely Playing Crazy week. Now today, we're going to be trying something, we're going to be trying quite a few things uh, that are totally new to me. And it's something that we haven't built yet as well, so that's kind of cool, but I'm going to be using some techniques that I haven't really used. I touched on last video, but I haven't really got into too much. But today we're going to be building an anti-air turret. Now, um, we're also going to be using motor locks. And this is something I have wanted to learn for a while, and it was only today that I finally really got to learn some of it, thanks to a whole bunch of the people from the Discord server. Uh, special thanks to, I believe it was Banana Energy, Sir Banana, and Sopo, who really helped me out on figuring this all out. But, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's going to be interesting. I do know kind of how to do some motor locking, not a whole lot. But, um, let's see if we can put together an, an anti-air gun. My, I can't, I can't say anti-air gun for some reason. I don't know why. AA gun. There. Easier. That's better. Okay, so we're just gonna go for some easy, easy, easy stuff here. Like making our base of our anti-air gun. This is just gonna be something small. Because it's honestly not gonna be a huge, huge, huge part of the anti-air gun. Because a lot of my time is going to be spent on actually trying to figure out how to make the gun move and rotate properly and using the motor locks to bring a ton of guns together so that it's also very effective. Now, I think this is looking okay so far. Let's just slap some more stuff on it. Okay, so we're gonna take some motors and let's just see if I can set this up properly. I think this should be okay. So there we go, this will probably change, but this is going to be like our just main rotation system for our anti-air gun. And we could just kind of build off of this. I'm thinking that maybe we can add like a, an aiming reticle thing to the front. But now we can actually start to work on the important part, which is the guns. So I'm just going to build this out. I'm just going to kind of put something together, see if it looks cool, and uh, we'll go from there. Now comes the part where I pretend to know what I'm doing, when in reality, I kind of don't. So this will be fun. So like I said earlier, I did learn a little bit about motor locking, and we're going to try it out here, if I can remember everything that I learned properly. But basically we're going to use the normal motors, and we're going to see if we can put this together. Maybe. Okay, so I've got a feeling that that doesn't work the way that I hoped it does. Just, just a guess. Just, just, a, just a small guess here. Um, gonna have to fix. <laughs> gonna have to fix that. That's for sure. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to pull off right here. Like this is this is what I'm aiming for with the whole motor lock system I've got going here. I just gotta kind of figure out how to put it on there and make it work properly. That that's my only problem at the moment. I'm a little bit confused, and I, I hope I can figure this out, because uh, I've never actually tried to put it on a build, I just know how to actually make it lock properly. Okay, so that is kind of what I'm aiming for. However, there is a small problem. If I at all turn off my anchor that I've got on it, this happens. It, it, just, it just dies. It just straight up dies, and then it freaks out. And, uh, just bad things happen all over the place, and I don't know why. I, I, I really don't know what is wrong with it, but, uh, we'll, we'll see if I can fix it. We, it, it does need to be fixed. I don't know how, but I will fix it. Some way. You know, I'm starting to think maybe motor locks and, uh, other motors might not be a good idea. They, they don't seem to play nice with each other, and I don't know exactly what I'm doing wrong here. There's got to be something. Maybe it's this piece that's attached. I don't know. Let's try that. Uh, yeah, no, so something's just freaking out with it, and I don't know what is up. This kind of works. I, I don't know exactly what I did. What did I do to make that work? Okay, so I put another block down like that. Alright, so do I just got to do that? everywhere else I don't know this is gonna be interesting 
to say the least. This is going to be very interesting. Uh, we'll see what I can do here. And hopefully it works. Okay, so there's something wrong going here. And I'm not quite sure what to do about it. I, I do have an idea. But I don't really want to do it. Basically my idea was that if I switch out uh, these two guys here, so if I pop them out really quick, and if we just pop in some normal motors instead, except I power them, uh, put that there, and yeah, they're powered, and that one's powered too. Let me just try this. Okay, so that actually doesn't have a problem. Hmm. I, I might have to go with something like this. Just using normal motors. Alright, so let's throw some guns into this and just see if this will work for us. Uh, I think we need to put another cylinder up just so... Because I, I was told that the cylinders basically work so that the block won't connect with the motor. It, it's it's kind of confusing when I'm trying to think about it because it's hard for me to actually wrap my head around how this all works properly, but it does work. That's the thing. It does work. So I I'm just going to do what I learned and we're going to take some more guns. We're going to slap these guys on like this and uh, we're going to hope things work. All right. Trying this. Uh, not quite. Okay. So I've been doing a little bit of messing around here and I think I might have it. Let me just actually remove these for a second and see Hey, there we go. Okay, so we've got our working gun, so that's good. So now I guess we can just kind of decorate the outside, and if we put stuff like... I, I was kind of thinking if we put like ladders maybe on the outside it would look kind of cool. Something like, uh, like something like this maybe? And then if I do it up here... What, 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 is, what does this look like? Hold on. Let's just see what this looks like. Does it break everything? No, it doesn't. And it actually looks kind of cool. I could kind of make this look kind of like a, a railgun anti-air hybrid thing? Maybe? So something like that? I don't know. That, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. But uh, it, it does... I, I am quite happy with... Uh, it actually worked. <laughs> okay, that's the one thing that I'm excited about. But I, I've actually gotten it to work. So let me just slap some more ladders on this guy. And uh, we'll see where this ends up. There we go. That's kind of what I was hoping for. This is turning out to be more of a machine gun than an anti-air gun, but uh, I, I do really like it. I wonder if maybe, if I add another... Hmm, hmm, I, I, I've got an idea. What if I put another bunch of cylinders right in here? Can I keep the barrel? but also have... I can. Okay. Interesting. I like where this is going. Okay, so there we go. I just kind of was trying to put on like a, a little aiming thing onto the front of it. So there we got kind of something working there. Um, I'm also thinking maybe I'll put like a, a little aiming bit thing here. I might also raise the seat up by one because I can't really see over the gun uh, all too well. Or maybe... Actually, maybe I'll move my seat over by one and then I can just kind of sit here? That that might be a little bit better. Here we go. We've kind of got something going here. This is looking kind of cool. Um, so I thought it'd be kind of cool if we put like a little aiming kind of thing. I know we got kind of one going on the end there, but that's not exactly what I wanted. I wanted kind of a glass sort of thing on it. I wasn't too sure what it would be, but uh, this thing kind of looks pretty cool. I, I think it looks cool. I like it. I think it looks really cool. And actually, I wonder if maybe we could add glass to the inside of this as well, where we still keep that outline, still keep the cylinder inside, but okay, why are you turning? <laughs> It's like slowly turning, uh, but we can also have like a glass filling in there if I add some more uh, motor lock down possibly. That would be really cool, and I want to try to do that. 
Okay, here we go. So I just basically added on an extra layer really quick. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to paint that with Legacy Glass. That should be fine. Now, so that, that, that'll be Legacy Glass. Let's just like make it a different color. How about we go like a dark blue? And if we do this, okay, all right, um, I don't really like how that's kind of glitching out all over the place, but it is looking good, and I am quite happy with how it's turning out. I am liking this a lot, and I am really surprised that it is actually turning out well and not completely freaking out. Oh, I, I might have spoke too soon. I, <laughs> I I don't know what the gun is doing, but it is not happy about something. Um, th this is fine, I think. Okay, so I've kind of just upgraded it and made it look a, a tad bit better, but what I had to change, because I, I did send it into my Discord and I asked, hey guys, do you know what... Uh, What's causing all the shake? Apparently, it's an actual thing that a lot of people have problems with. So, there's not really too much I can do about it. So, I switched back to the normal motors and I decided we'll just use those for aiming. It's not perfect, it's not what I wanted, but uh, it's what we got, so it's what we're gonna make work. Now, what I'm gonna do really quickly before we end this video is I'm gonna give this thing a nice old paint job. I don't know why it's spinning, but uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a paint job. I think I'm gonna try to make it look kind of like futuristic or something. It'll be really cool. I I'm excited for you guys to see this. I think it's gonna look awesome when, it when it's actually fully painted and uh, ready to go. Okay, I think we've kind of got what I wanted to do here. I've painted everything up, so let me quickly show you what I've added. Because I, I did add a couple things. And not a whole lot, but some just some like small little things. Um, I did add some doors at the top so I could kind of, you know, pop out and then pop back in. Close those up. Um, I added some things to the sides that can drop off to make the gun look a little bit more square. And uh, not as kind of rounded, but also squared at the same time that it was. And, let me change to night mode for this one. I also added... Lights! I don't know why the front ones aren't turning on. They should be. But they they do light up. I don't know why they aren't lit up, but you know what? That's fine. Because this actually looks pretty cool lit up right now. But why didn't the front lights light up? They should. Huh. Must just be a little bit harder to see. Because I, I when, when I had them lit up uh, before, they weren't made of glass. So maybe that could be the reason why that it's kind of having a hard time. But that's fine. Because actually the interior looks pretty cool when it's actually lit up. Because you got like the three little power level things, well, power level things that I like to call them. Uh, all ready up, ready full charge. And then we can start to shoot. And there we go. Our AA gun works perfect. I, this turned out really well. I am actually extremely happy with how this turned out. And plus, I personally think it looks pretty cool. Uh, back to daytime. And, I also finally used motor locks. And I didn't destroy it. it. It actually turned out okay. So I am super happy. This build turned out awesome. My day and night cycle is glitching out. There we go. And uh, yeah. Now that I've actually grasped the idea of using motor locks, hopefully in the future I'll actually be able to use more. And it should theoretically improve some of my builds and help me make them better. And I'll be able to have more creative freedom. Being able to mash blocks together is actually a huge, huge, huge uh, thing because I can make so many more interesting combinations. I can make better glass. Like, as you can see here, I was kind of messing around with some... No, uh, stop, 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 uh, daytime. Uh, as you can see here, I was messing around with some glass, just like working with it, trying to figure out how it kind of works being pushed down into the blocks. And it turned out really well because once it's put together, it looks totally fine if it ever decides to load. Yeah, like, it, it, it looks totally fine, and there's no problems whatsoever. But yeah, there we go, guys. There is my lovely, lovely anti-air gun. Uh, motor locks and all. This thing turned out awesome, and I am extremely proud of it. So, obviously, 
definitely things I can work on in the future, but uh, for now, at least for like my first time using motor locks, I think it turned out pretty good. But anyways guys, that's really all I've got for today's video, so hey, if you guys liked this video, feel free to give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and as always guys, it's Dragon Platinum, signing out. Peace out guys. Bye.